Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Osetta Rue, and today I have another exciting edition for you of Ask an Aquarius. Now, this is a pretty big one, this is a doozy, guys. Um, someone asked me a question. They wanted to know um, what were my thoughts on suicide from a spiritual standpoint. And um, earlier this week, Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade committed suicide. Um, or so we think, that's what the official report says. And um, first and foremost, my heart just goes out to their families and people that love them, their friends. I think Anthony had a girlfriend. Um, his uh, girlfriend's friend wrote a piece about how bad she needed him, a, a, a tweet about how bad she needed him. Um, my heart just goes out to the people that love them. You know, including the fans, you know, I really, I didn't know a lot about Anthony Bourdain. I did not, I didn't know anything about Kate Spade. I had to Google her totally. And Anthony, I had seen clips of him, but I had never watched his show or really gotten into, you know, what he does. Um, he seemed to me like a great guy, to be honest with you. I heard him say some things about um, humanity and how different people are being abused around the world. I I liked a lot of things he had to say. A lot of things I saw him say were controversial and it made me laugh. And other things were just, you know, things that a good person says about being a humanitarian. So um, I wasn't very familiar with him, but the things I had been familiar with were pretty much positive. So it was very heartbreaking to hear about that. So my heart goes out to people um, who love them first and foremost. Um, secondly, uh, I'm going to answer the question. What is the spiritual deal with suicide? Um, somebody told me online that they, uh, this woman posted that suicide was a spirit, um, which it is not. There are spirits, demonic entities, negative energies, uh, people who've been plagued with those kind of things, bad spells, curses, things like that, that have driven them to commit suicide, yes. But in itself, it's not a spirit, um, according to my understanding. I've also heard somebody who said that um, it was a reset button, like starting over again. And like Mario Brothers, and I'm like, I don't see that either. Um, my spiritual understanding of suicide is that you are interrupting a life. It's kind of like uh, Oprah always says, we should live our best lives. Well, suicide is when you destroy the possibility of you ever being able to live the rest of whatever that best life might have been. All of the things you would have created or invented or all the goodness you could have brought to the world is now gone. And I don't think you, you know, reset it. I think it's just gone. And um, according to the ancients, when you commit suicide, you come back. It depends on what culture you look at. But according to the ones I'm thinking of, um, they said that you come back. And you come back in a worse situation or in a um, similar situation to the one that you left from. Now, all cultures don't believe that. All people don't believe that. But that's what impressed upon me. So when I read that, I was like, well, there's no point in leaving then. <laughs> if I'm going to come back anyway and it's going to be the same or worse, I might as well rock out with what I got. So that's always been my understanding of suicide is I may as well handle this now. I may as well just rock out. You know, might as well deal with whatever there is here to deal with. Um, and like I said, with suicide, uh, most of the time, um, this is the problem. The problem to me is that suicide is something that a person does who has a mental health issue. And even though mental health issues are as old as the earth, we still don't know how to deal with mental health issues. Um, because traditionally, if somebody had mental health issues, we killed them or we locked them away. And that's not the answer. You have to treat it. My understanding of mental health issues is just like physical health issues. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, you don't hide it and just not talk about it and hope it goes away. You see, you diagnose it, you treat it, and hopefully it heals. That's my thing about mental health issues. We have to start to do exactly the same thing. We have to start to look at mental health issues just like diabetes or having high blood pressure. You need to identify it, treat it, 
and heal it. And people do not do that. People walk around depressed for lifetimes in some cases. Um, they walk around, and depression is a liar. Not only is it a liar, it's hard to get out of. It's like quicksand. But the longer you stay in it, the longer you sink, the further down you go. So it behoove you to try to get out of it. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. And people don't. That's the thing that kills me about um, depression that leads to, you know, that is a part of mental health or leads to further mental health issues. That's what kills me about depression, even in myself. When I felt suicidal, when I was in those depressed times in my life, I never tried to get out of it. I just sank and sank and sank and cried and sank and laid there and, and sank. And it wasn't until I said, I'm going to heal myself and I find out what's wrong with me, find out how to fix it. That's when things turned around. That's when I went to therapy. That's when I became a priestess. All that stuff happened around the same time because it was like something is wrong here and I'm not living like this. <laughs> I'm not living like this no more. And that is what it has to happen. You have to decide that you're going to heal it, you know, and uh, suicide is not the answer. It's not going to hit. It's not going to heal it. It's not going to do anything but put you, according to what I believe, in a worse situation. So, um, you know, from a spiritual standpoint, that's what I want to say about suicide. I don't think it's an answer to anything. I think it's just um, the lack of a better answer to be honest with you. So um, if you're somebody, uh, I had mentioned earlier that depression is a liar. If you're somebody who's going through mental health issues and you're feeling depressed, you're feeling suicidal, depression is a liar. Depression will tell you the world is better off without you. Depression will tell you that you can't do the things you wanna do. Depression will tell you that you're not loved. It will tell you all kinds of lies. And when I look at Anthony Bourdain's loved ones tweeting and putting messages, his friends, other people that he's touched, even Barack Obama um, left a, a tweet or a message about Anthony Bourdain. And it really just touched my heart because whatever gave Anthony the impression that the world would be better off without him, that that was a lie, that was a lie depression told him because the world is not better off without him. His loved ones miss him dearly and, and would love anything to have him back anything you know and um i don't think anthony knew that i don't think people who commit um suicide know that because depression has convinced them that it's not true i've talked to a lot of people when they were suicidal and the first thing they always told me is everybody would be better off and i'm like what are you talking about no they won't be better off your family will be devastated you know it's something they'll never get over you know um they're always going to miss you they're always going to mourn you um and what about all the contributions you could have made to this earth when it's never going to have those things you know and I think that that's what happens. Like they start to believe things. We start to believe things when we're suicidal that just are not true. So um, like I said before, if you are somebody who is suicidal, if you're finding yourself depressed, you have no choice but to come out of it. I always tell people you have two choices. You can work on it, work on healing yourself, get diagnosed and treat yourself, you know, work on it. Or you can just live in agony until it destroys you. But why do that? Why live in agony till it destroys you? When it can be treated, it can be helped. Most people who have mental health issues can um, treat them. They can um, get them under control. Just like diabetes, it can be under control. Just like high blood pressure, it can go back down. Just like cancer, it can go into remission. Your mental health issues can get better. They can go away. They can, they can be alleviated. Um, some people deal with depression at different times in their life, but whenever it rears its ugly head, it can be beat. So my thing is, is that, you know, do the work to beat it. Don't just try to escape it. You can't escape it by dying. You can't escape it by drinking, smoking, um, sexing, whatever. You know, you can't escape it. The only thing you can do with mental health issues is get them under control like you would with any other health issue. I think we should just take the mental part off. I think that's the part that turns people off. Let's just call it a health issue. It's another health issue that needs to be addressed the same way any other one would be addressed. If you broke your arm, you wouldn't just hide it from the world and let it you know, grow back crooked. You would go to the doctor, they would set it with something, and your arm would be fixed in six weeks. You know, It's the same thing. It may not be as fast. You know, It may take you a long time to work on it, but it's something you really need to commit to instead of you know, giving up on yourself, on your life. So again, um, 
I'm going to put the number under here for the National Suicide Hotline. So people who feel, you know, um, suicidal, please call. You know, there are people there, and some of them have been suicidal themselves. You know, call, talk to them, work your way through it. Um, I'll also um, leave my email, so if anybody wants to make an appointment to uh, get a reading, you know, maybe we can figure out, not even maybe, we can figure out what is messing up your life and how to fix it. You know, um, if you don't want to do that, call a therapist. You know, do something though. Do something productive that is going to help you out of the situation. And dying is not it. Healing is it. Okay? Talk to you later. Deuces.